Good morning, this is James from Burton Waters Boat Sales. Doing you a uh, walk around video of the brand new Delphia 10 Lounge. Uh, this is the latest boat from Delphia. Uh, this vessel does come in three different versions, the lounge being the newest one, uh, and then we have the lounge top and the sedan. And uh, as we go around the boat, I will explain that in a little bit more detail to you. This specific one is the fully electric version, and I'll go through the different propulsion systems uh, once we step around the boat. Uh, and get more involved in the boat itself. The, the layout of this boat is actually stunning. And I've got to say the lines of it really are quite nice and you need to come and see it in, in real uh, to get the full true feeling of what this boat really has to offer. Um, the space that's actually on this boat is amazing for a 10 meter boat, whether you're having a sedan, the lounge top, or even if you're going for uh, the uh, uh, lounge on its own as we've got here. One of the really nice things about this boat is the fact that whichever propulsion system you go for, the boat is on a shaft drive with a rudder uh, and there with the option with the stern thruster and bow thruster on her as well. So what we'll do is uh, we'll take a step aboard uh, and let's see what uh, she has to offer us. So we're uh, now up on the stand and about to walk on to the Delphia 10 lounge. Um, first thing you notice on this boat is the option to have a bike rack at the back here. Uh, nice for just a standard bike or alternatively like this one here, this is an electric bike as well. You can have the ability to plug that in and charge it whilst you're cruising. Uh, and the nice thing is look at the space that you've got on board the boat. As you can see, We've got the aft seat that just slides across there so you can be facing out of the back of the boat, which is really nice. And uh, let's have a step aboard uh, and see what we have to offer space-wise. I will try and give us comparisons against the uh, sedan as well as we go round. So we've got, as we come on, we've got this nice uh, bathing platform. It's a lovely level floor um, straight into the boat itself. And as you can see, look at the side deck. That's a lovely deck to walk up and it's a proper walk up the deck uh, feel. And uh, we'll go up onto the bow in just a moment. So as we come round, you effectively end up with two seating areas. I'm just going to slide the uh, seat back so we can see it. Um, the U-shaped seating at the back of the boat here. So as you can see, you've got a really lovely U-shaped uh, seating area with then seating that's going along the whole back of the boat. Uh, and it's creating effectively two different dining areas. Plus you can remove this centre section if you want to give more of a free flow of walking around the boat as well. Uh, and obviously we've got the uh, two tables in here. Now, as you can see on the top here, if you went for the lounge top, this goes up to a GRP structure roof, and equally if it was the sedan along the back here is where you'd then have the sliding doors on the boat as well. Um, the big difference between this one and the sedan is that this area here uh, makes a full galley uh, here, and obviously then you have the nice low side windows as well. So it really does give quite a, a good, good option, whichever way you go on the boat. The seat over here can fold straight back again, so it goes all the way along the seating around, but in the position that we've got it tilted in at the moment, it gives you a stunning co-pilot bench on there. And if we just come round on the uh, lounge and the lounge top here, you've got just under this, uh, here we've got a sink with hot and cold water and also a little gas stove as well. And then, just below that, we've then got the fridge, lovely quality fridge uh, with an ice box. So if you are partial to gin and tonic, uh, you can have your ice in there as well. And let's just take a quick look down here. So in this boat, this has got the i50 Deep Blue Torquedo electric motor. Uh, I believe this one is just on the single one battery. So let's talk about propulsion on the boat. So on the boat, you have several uh, different options. Um, in regarding propulsion. So the first choice is you make, are you going to be electric or are you going for diesel? That may be dictated in the future where you're going to do your boating because in time you will find that inland waterways uh, and lakes will not probably go to electric only. Now with the electric system you have life which is that motor plus one battery. You have cruise which then gives you the two batteries uh, and then you have rapid which then also has the facility for rapid charging. If we just look at the cruise, that will give you uh, the two batteries. It will give you a range of around uh, 10 hours and between six to eight nautical uh, knots, uh, six to eight knots rather, 
uh, obviously subject to the conditions that the boat you're boating in and that is obviously worked on a clean hull and so forth now in the diesel options you've got the 45 horsepower Yamaha diesel the 40 the 57 and the 110 Again, as I said to you earlier and showed you earlier, they're all on a shaft drive system. Uh, if you go for the electric, you get the additional BNG screen here, which gives you your sort of range and all the data that you need. On this, we've got the Simrad uh, chart plotter as well. And then you've down here, we've got the controls for the bow and the stern thruster. The HF fusion radio system. This is the upgraded helm wheel. Uh, and obviously you can see the control on this is for the electric torpedo system. So it's really going to depend on where you're boating, how you're boating, uh, and obviously future-proofing your boating as well. One of the really nice features on this boat is the fact that you have this lovely side door access. So from a fueling pontoon or onto a linear berth, it makes it very easy to get on and off the boat. Now this is the bit where it gets really surprising as we go down below, is the accommodation. So let's take a step down into the boat itself. Um, we'll turn the rest of the lights on in just a second. Now, the height in here, I'm six foot, and there is still tons of room above my head. It has got to be said. Um, it really is quite a lot of space in the boat as well. So, on the berth here, you've got, this is the master cabin, so you've got these lovely, great big windows. Uh, there we go, switch the lights on, get a bit more light in the boat. Obviously, we are inside, so you're not getting the natural light into the boat. And then we've got these windows just up here as well. And obviously you have got your standard hatch. Now, the nice thing with this both is the fact that this is a scissor bed. So effectively, you can split the bed and then have it so that you've got um, two single berths in here. So it really is a nice cabin size. Again, the headroom is just, um, just amazing. I was on here yesterday with someone six foot three, uh, and even he, his head was nowhere near the roof. The second cabin option is you can either have it in the utility room stroke office, which this setup is done as at the moment, or alternatively, you can have it as a double berth with the berth going underneath the decking there. But again, you've still got plenty of headroom, so you've still got plenty of space in here to uh, stand and get dressed. And if we just look down the side, we've got a nice window here, and an opening porthole and window here. So there's plenty of natural light coming into the boat. And then, Let's move round to the head. This is really good. So for a 10 meter boat, with the offering of deck space that it does, you have got a shower unit, which has a door that comes across it. So it does mean you can bring your, your towel and your wash bag and everything into, into here as well without them getting wet. And then you've got your toilet with the option of it being electric as well. Uh, and it really is, and there's plenty of space in it. Actually, tons of space. Um, really is unbelievable. So, and as promised, I'll take you up onto the full forward deck, uh, and that will give you then just an idea of the extra uh, entertaining space. Again, look at these decks, they're just stunning, really are. Um, you know, there's plenty of places to hold on as you go round, and there's just a, a ton of space up here, really is. Uh, so great, either to be used as a day boat or overnight as well. It really is uh, a stunning layout. Now. Just to give you an idea on prices, obviously this is Dusseldorf 2023, January. Uh, this boat, depending on spec, but with a reasonable spec, will be 220,000 ish. Uh, that's sterling delivered in the water. Uh, if you're looking at a finance option, you're going to be looking somewhere around just over 30% deposit and £1,500 uh, a month. So hopefully this video gives you a better idea. Um, for more information about the electric propulsion and how that works, all the different diesel options, then please feel free to give Burton Waters a call uh, or go online on our website, which is www.burtonwaters.co.uk.